Moving on to our next topic. Well, this is some good news. For once. <laughs> Nintendo Switch is doing very, very well. Uh, so well, in fact, that Nintendo themselves, their stock valuation has surpassed the peak it hit with Pokemon Go last year. And to put that in perspective, when Nintendo had this massive spike last year, all the investors were under the impression that Nintendo makes most of the money from Pokemon Go. That's not the case. Niantic makes the most, yep. then the Pokemon Company, then Game Freak, and then Nintendo. Mm-hmm. Like, there's a lot of IP stuff going around there, so Nintendo actually makes the smallest cut. But Nintendo does make some. And the peak they are at now with their valuation, which is like 31,880 yen per share, is barely higher than at the peak last year of 31,770, but it is higher. And there wasn't anything that necessarily happened to make a spike. Like there wasn't some, you know, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe didn't light the world on fire. Nintendo Switch, we're, 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 you know, two months out, three months out from that releasing. So there's nothing that really happened with that to make it suddenly spike. I mean, you can see it spiking at launch, but we're, we're past that. So the, the, the theory is, is that if you look at the scale and I'll put a, put some images up in the video version, it's consistently on the rise for like the past Mm -hmm. few months. Mm -hmm. And what that means is investors have confidence in Nintendo. Mm-hmm. No, because sure. the Switch is continuing to sell out. The games that they release on the platform are continuing to sell well. The They are mobile games, Fire Emblem Heroes, Super Mario Run. Even though Super Mario Run is not performing as well as investors want it to, it's still making money. Mm-hmm. So Super Mario Run, Fire Emblem Heroes, Pokemon Go, they have Animal Crossing coming out. They, they have other mobile games on the way. They, and then they dedicated to releasing three per year. Uh, they're all making money. So Nintendo is making extra revenue. They are committed to mobile, and now they have a platform that everyone's excited about. And MLB teams are playing uh, you know, in the clubhouse. And, oh yeah! Uh, like I think investors are seeing that Nintendo is a very, very healthy place to be right now. Um, in fact, so healthy that at the time of that report, they were the 19th most valuable company in Japan. Hmm. Now I don't know wow. what companies are ahead of them. I didn't look at the list to know how impressive that is. But to be but the, still, the top, top 20. Tw- the top 20 in a country full of tech companies. Is awesome. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, on top of that, it's not that Nintendo is just doing well for itself. Yep. Apparently, Best Buy and Target are doing awesome because of Nintendo. They specifically came out and noted that Nintendo is a reason for a turnaround with their company. Um, at Best Buy, they were projected to lose some more market share in the consumer electronics space and to have, you know, break even profits or whatever. And Ever since the Switch came out, their store to something value or whatever went up 1.6% when it was supposed to go down 5%. So they actually increased their value and their net profits were higher than they've ever been, primarily because of Nintendo Switch. And when I say higher, never been like highest in nine months. Yeah. Um, and then Target, which is really interesting, month to month and quarter to quarter, they have consistently seen their electronics area decrease in the money it makes and decrease mm-hmm. you know in, in how much profits it makes not saying that it makes losses but it's been decreasing in value for the company usually when that happens and it's been happening for two years you start thinking oh, maybe we should start cutting back on electronics not not maybe even get rid of the electronics section of, of you know right. that, that's what happens you know if walmart yeah. wasn't making money in the electronics section they would get rid of it yeah you don't keep around things that lose money but for the first time in two years they saw growth yeah that's crazy so Nintendo Switch comes out, boop, April hits, Target Target's electronic section starts to soar. Mm-hmm. And what was Target doing in that time? Oh, nothing other than massive advertising for Mario Kart 8, partnering oh, yeah, with Nintendo. Yeah, for sure. So That definitely paid off for them. Yeah. So it's like, Nintendo Switch is, you know, there's this theory out there, a prevailing theory, because people still believe that this is what Nintendo did with the Wii and the DS. Uh, more, more so with the Wii, and that's what they believe they do with Amiibo too. And with Amiibo, there might be a, a bigger, that might be a bigger conversation than, than what I'm going to talk about here. But there's this theory with fans that Nintendo purposely does not make enough systems to create artificial demand, right? And that the system isn't like really, if they met demand and released enough systems for it, the sales wouldn't be that much better than they already are. Okay, so mm-hmm. basically. They could have eight million switches out in the world right now, but it wouldn't sell out of those eight million. Like the sell out, the a, sellouts are just are just a fake hype driven thing. There isn't actually that many people that want the system, basically. Or you'd have a 
massive spike and then a huge drop off. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. other, the other way it can go So too. basically, Nintendo's underproducing what they can produce is, is essentially the theory. So they can maintain that, oh, we keep selling out mantra. When they're really only shipping out three consoles per batch, <laughs> and you know, of course, you're selling out because hey, you only I mean, you're not sending out twenty per batch like you should. Right. I mean, you got to give it to them. That that's not, in a way, it's not a terrible business decision. If and that's yes, what's happening. Right. Right. But it's, I feel like it's also making people mad that they can't get a hold of one. <laughs> <laughs> NES Classic, anyone? It, right. However, I feel like this impact on Best Buy and Target in April. Almost proves the exact opposite. Now, with the Wii, it was easy to argue that Nintendo would have a problem with production. Because, think about it, the GameCube sold 22 million. You think they were honestly prepared for a 100 million unit seller at launch? There's no way in hell they were prepared. By the time they caught up was 2008, a year yeah. and a half later. And what happened in 2008? They sold more Wii units than they've ever sold. It was the peak year of the Wii. Yep. Because they finally caught up to consumer demand. And yep. it kept selling at insane levels. It took Nintendo that long to catch up at manufacturing. And it's easy to believe because they have ne- not even the NES was that popular. Right. They have never seen a system go that high. Their most popular handheld, I think, at that time was Game Boy. They only sold 80 million. So, like, they had never seen anything like this. Right. And yeah, at yeah. the same time, the DS was blowing up. So, like, they literally, mm-hmm. it's very understandable that those shortages were not, like, artificial. They... No way in hell could anticipate yeah, that kind definitely. of popularity. Um, and with the Switch, I know it's easy to say because they went through this before that they anticipated it and that Nintendo, you know, they mentioned that, you know, they're going to, ra- they had the ability to ramp up production if they needed to just in case. Um, the thing is, I think they did ramp up production. I just think it keeps selling out because why, how could Best Buy and Target's entire electronics business improve that drastically in a single month if they weren't getting units to sell mm, yeah there is that that's the thing if there isn't nintendo switches to sell it can't impact well, the store well either that or they were really doing bad well if that's why i was doing that bad they yeah, wouldn't be right. around yeah no, that's for sure but <laughs> that turn around a two-year trend right, right. like no, oh definitely. my god if they only got 10 switch units at every store that's not turning around a two-year no, no, trend definitely yeah no, I, it's not like I'm that. Just, I, that three thousand dollars from the from the, the switch other store. Yeah, that's the other option. Is that they were really doing yeah. bad. So this to me st- tells you tells at least me that no, Nintendo's sending out a ton of units. They're just selling out. And I have one caveat to prove this. They, I was just curious. So I think it was two Fridays ago. Best Buy, my our local Best Buy, sent out an email saying, "Hey, we're going to have new Nintendo Switch units in on Friday." When I went out there at opening just to see, there were some people waiting in line for it. I'm like, I'm not here to buy it. I'm just curious. Like, I just want to know how many mm-hmm. units they got. Because yep. I tried to ask them around the phone and they said, We can't tell you. I'm like, Okay. I don't know why you can't tell yeah, me. Right? Yeah. I just want to know. Like, if I was a potential customer, I want to know, is it worth me standing in line for when you only have three systems or do you have 50? And, you know. There's only 10 people standing in line. Yeah. yeah then, yes. Well, when I went in, they had a pallet at the front of the store because I, I think they just expected to run out of it right away. Um, and there was 35. I counted 35 switch units on it. Nice. And by the time I left the store, because you know me, I went to Best Buy. I'm gonna walk around. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna, sure. I'm gonna play on that PS4 Pro they got back there. You know, just set up. I'm gonna sit and mu- listen to some music. I'm gonna browse and see how much they're overcharging for computers. <laughs> um, so I came back, and when I left, the pallet was empty. How long? I was in there for an hour and a half. That's impressive. So. Now, that's just my local. That doesn't mean that happened to everyone. But I, what I'm saying is it's very clear to me now that we have these, these these factual numbers come out that Nintendo's giving tons of Switches. And they're just not – like they, can, they can't anticipate that it was going to be this big this this quickly. Mm. Uh, especially since, you know, what's the two primary reasons to own it? Breath of the Wild and Mario Kart 8, two Wii U games. You think they really thought – right. A couple ports were, were going to blow up the system like that. I don't think they had any idea that right, was going to happen definitely. outside of the launch month uh, since that was the first time Breath of the Wild came out. Now, I I just think any argument... The thing is, we don't know. We will find out at the end of June. That's when they have their next financial meeting and they'll update the sales figures for Switch. And I think we might see Switch as over $5 million. It was at 2.74 just in March, just for mm-hmm. launch. So if it was at 2.74 there, how much would it have to sell to be over five just 
you know, 2.5 million units since then over the course of what April, May and parts of June. The 2.3. Yeah. Just to be above five. I'm pretty sure that when we hear that number, like I'm saying above five, I I wouldn't be shocked if they're like, dude, we sold 7 million. Yeah. It wouldn't even surprise me. And then it's like, okay, how much, at, at what point, at what point were the people that say that realize that's a ton of freaking units. In a Especially span of, for, a, of what, four months. Yeah, I was going to say. Like, not even PlayStation 4 was selling at that pace, and that was the fastest selling console of all time for the first year. Well, I mean, just think about this. If that keeps the pace, let's just say at, at June, you're at 7 million. If that keeps the pace, that's 21 million units in a year. And they're only projecting to sell like 10 in this fiscal year? Yeah. So, like, now, and here's the thing. If it's at that, this is all just, you know, we don't know. Even if it's at five, it's still one of those things like it's at five, but it's selling out. Right. If they can maintain that momentum, mm-hmm. that's all they have to do. That they just need to maintain the momentum till the holidays. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying, oh, my God, momentum should die then. No, because you know Mario's coming. Mm-hmm. You know you have that next Breath of the Wild massive hit on your hands. Hopefully, potentially. We assume it's good. Right. So they know they have like that ace in the whole game that they just need to keep people buying out the system until then when the next massive, massive game hits. And then it's going to be a bestseller for the holiday period. Yep. I mean, this assumes they can stockpile for the holiday. If they keep selling out, they probably can't stockpile. (laughs) But they're going to try. Like if they keep selling out all summer and they realize, crap, we're getting into the holiday season and we're not going to have more than 10 units on the shelf on Black Friday – you, you, they're, they're, uh, you, you, let me tell you, they thought they ramped up production. They might buy more factories. Oh, yeah. Because they're going to be like, no, we need, you know, we're going to need five, six million out in the wild for just the holiday period. <laughs> right. Um. So it, it's one of those things that I think Nintendo, Nintendo's obviously doing well. Mm-hmm. Here's two retailers that are doing well because of Nintendo. And I think right now, at least until we get concrete figures, I think it's easy to argue in the moment that Nintendo is not purposely shorting Nintendo Switches. We'll find out for sure at the yeah, end of June. Yeah. Um, what number would do you want to hear that would make you feel like they're not shorting? Oh, gosh. How much would it I, have to sell? I honestly don't even know. I Well, so 2.74, you know, in a right. month. Yeah. So, so how much would it have to sell for you to feel like... Now, what we have to remember is that 2.74 included the fact that Nintendo flew units over. Mm-hmm. Um, so they're not doing that. It's all boats because mm-hmm. that's really expensive to do. Right. Um, they just wanted to make sure they had enough units for launch. So, uh, I would say somewhere between the five and seven million. What we've been talking okay. about. Because I think the only way I'd be disappointing, and the way I would agree with fans, is if they come out and they're like, "Look, we only sold, we sold three point five to four. And yeah. I'm like, "How? We've already seen some sales totals for April, and you're telling me it tanked that bad in May? Yeah, right. And you still couldn't get units on the shelf. Hmm." Unless you come out and say one of your manufacturing buildings lit on fire and burned down, then you lost how many? Yeah, units or, or a warehouse or, or a warehouse yeah. in the U.S. got burned down or something. Right. Like, like unless there's a, a, a literal reason that it was out of your control. Right. Um. Anyways, just a little fun pet. Nintendo's just making more money now or per share. Their, their shares are worth more money now than they were when Pokemon Go released. So that's just kind of a cool thing. 